What's up, guys? Today we're going to learn Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra. This one's an old tune with a great groove, and you're going to learn lots of cool chords, and you're going to be over the moon when you learn this song. If you're a complete beginner, you're going to want to start by checking out my free beginner course right here. It's going to take you through all the very basics, and then come back to this tutorial once you've done that. For everyone else, let's get into it. Okay, so this one's going to be a pretty easy song with a great groove. It's got one strumming pattern for this entire song, and it's got two different chord progressions, one for the verses and one for the choruses. Make sure to check out the lyrics with chords on top of them in the description below this video. It's going to make it a lot easier to follow along with me. All right, so we're going to play the song mostly with bar chords. It's going to make it a lot easier to figure out and keep track of. If you have a tough time with bar chords, now's a great time to practice. So we're starting off on an A minor bar chord, and our strumming pattern is going to sound like this. So all I'm doing here is for every chord in the song, it's going to be bass note with your thumb and then fourth, third, and second strings with these three fingers. And it doesn't matter whether I'm playing a six string chord or a five string chord, it's either going to be bass on the sixth string or bass on the fifth string. So our strumming pattern is going to be, you're just picking and then smacking back down on the strings. So just try and get a hang of that groove and then work on that because that's what we're going to be playing through all the chords in this song. So once you've got that, then we're going to switch our chords. Again, chords, lyrics in the description below. It's going to make it a lot easier to remember these chord progressions because they are a little bit longer, so they're going to be a little tougher to memorize. Our verse is going to be split into two patterns. First is going to be A minor to D minor 7, then to G7 and then to C major seven. So we're gonna play our strumming pattern once on each of these chords. So as you can see, you play the strumming pattern once on each chord. Then our next four chords are gonna be F, D minor, E7, and then the only change here is A minor, to A7. So you're going to play A minor once and then switch to A7 for the rest of the strum. So I know that's a little hard to follow, but just listen to this and figure it out with my playing. So the only thing to pay attention to there is you can hear that change from the A minor to the A7 on that last section of this progression. Okay, and with that there, that's the entire verse. So that's eight, technically nine chords played together, all in the same strumming pattern. Work on those. The hardest part's gonna be memorizing the chords, honestly. But once you've got that, that's the entire verse progression. You can play that for all three verses in the song. Okay, so moving into the chorus, we've already got most of the pieces of the puzzle here. All we're doing is playing the exact same strumming pattern, just changing up the chords a little bit. So here's the chorus played for you in full. There's the full chorus. So this one's actually easier to remember than the verse was because it's almost the same pattern played twice. So our first four chords are going to be D minor 7, G7, C, or I prefer to play it like that, and then A minor. So the first half of the chorus. So that's the first half, and then the second half of the chorus is going to be almost the same, just the final chord switches. So we're going to have D minor 7, G7, C, and then all the way up to E. 
So you put that together with the first half, and this is your full chorus. And there you have it. There's your full chorus. So with these two parts, put them together, follow the chords and lyrics in the description to figure out where they all go and line up with, and there's the full song. And with that, you can play the entire song. Please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video or if you learned something. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get alerted of all my new videos when I post them so you can learn lots of new things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.